Do you try to separate yourself at this point from family name and build your own brand? Or do you still use that pride and that joy of the family name to continue the brand? That's a super important thing with where I'm at. And this is like, this is cool because like even there's people in my family that I have like a pro that have problems with me and that have like are keeping me in this zone of like you're an old holic, you you're a failure, you're a fucking, you know, and people who try to like hold you in my family, outside of my family, like they they really are like holding me to this like old version of myself. And it's very interesting how people can do that. And it's in it, I'm glad you asked this question because it's like that was my that was really in my journey and doing my film and this whole process and why my film is kind of as good as it is and i'm not fully patting it on the back but i am the reason it became what it is was because through that process like i actually understood for the first time like the difference between me and my heritage and it was really important and part of that was i had to go through all these other martial arts styles and actually train them and physically be there and talk to people, talk to other masters, because I have masters in my family that I had like a certain mental trap with that didn't, it didn't allow me to even understand my relative position because I was so locked into, oh, this is a master of jujitsu. I'm learning from them and I'm building myself through this process. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Like, yeah. Now I understand that there's actually like, there's so many levels to mastery that when you meet a real martial arts master who is like the top, let's say, and everything is a spectrum, but let's say the yeah. top like 1% of masters, these are people who have dedicated their entire lives. They're still yeah. teaching people. They probably have some level of combat experience. They've probably been in a war. They've probably, and they're these kinds of human beings that are like the most, the only way I can describe it is like, they're almost like the most perfectly weathered kind of leather like yeah. something like there's this this like this thing that you're just like dude you're perfectly made and you're perfectly developed and you're just and you're maybe you're a little older and people say oh you're you're out of your prime but that's not the point no. you exist in space as something that is so powerful and special and such a gem like they're like they're literally like it's like it's like how the pressure of a diamond is developed that's exactly yeah. what i think of you there's these there's these humongous diamonds of humans that are martial arts masters in the world and I'm, and I have had the pleasure to meet a few of them and it's blown me away and it's changed my perspective. And this is, this has reframed my understanding of who I am relative to martial arts. And I'm so excited, man, because at this point, I'm just like, oh, okay, like I need to just be who I am and I need to develop myself as a master, but also I need to do it by being a better human and I need to understand who I am to be a better human. And so I can't rely on being a Gracie 